this is Suze Eleven Tarot, and this is going to be a Taurus reading. Now, I'm interested because I saw some Taurus cuspers um, get engaged. Okay, so um, I feel like some of you are still working on it. So let's, I want to do a love reading actually today. So, <laughs> some of you may not be interested in that, but let's see what comes up, okay? Um, that's what I would like to see what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, Taurus, let's see. Okay. Okay, so the first card up is this, the crows. Okay. So the story that um, I want to say here is, okay, so long time ago, the crows were white. And then uh, the myth of that is that then they got painted into black. Okay, so <laughs> that's like an Indian story, I think. Okay, anyway, all right, so as we see, okay, others in that uh, light within, uh, then uh, it's like the shadows and all that kind of breaks apart, okay? It just kind of falls away, see that? Okay, as we go within, Okay, now, if we see everyone from this point here within, then that is what will manifest in the outside world. Okay, so I want to say that the person you attracted to that kind of got you in this kind of, well, no, they didn't get you. Okay, that... Um, Okay, the cause and effect that, ha that happened um, with this particular person, um, that is of the past. Okay, and the way out of that is to see everyone from your glow, your light, your uh, alignment. Okay. All right, so it's like this. As you hold that light for everyone, even if they're doing funky stuff in the, in the physical reality, then either that person will move out of your experience or um, something new like it will match up to it. Okay. And then here's the balance, the alignment in that. Okay, and see here's the extreme. So I feel like perhaps in the subconscious, you may not even be aware that the reason why um, if you're single and haven't come together with somebody um, is some kind of past experience, okay, uh, that um, kind of felt you, felt like... Um, it was infringing on your universe a little bit. Okay. Um, that's the words I pick up here. Okay. All right. So, and what's interesting is I feel like this moon is looking like Mars a little bit here. Hmm. Okay. So, was it an Aries? Or a fire sign, or was it fire energy? Okay. And then there's a glass of water here, so maybe you want to go towards a water sign. Okay. Or another earth sign. But we've got air here, too, so let's see. Okay, Al. 
So I see that as air sign, but I feel like this is your wisdom that you've come into now. Your realization, yeah, that's your wisdom. Okay. And you hold the key to opening uh, this um, flow of when it comes to love. But I feel like you feel like if you open it, then it'll be just like um, you won't be able to maneuver it is the feeling that I'm getting here. Okay, growth. Okay, so this is, we used to have these, and I think I said in another reading before, but these used to float on top of the sea in Okinawa when I lived there in Japan, and uh, they would float on top of the water. And, um, and so I feel like um, you are, you're, you're in, in charge of your emotions now. And I feel you've got a hold on it. Okay. And then you've grounded and rooted kind of uh, into uh, learning how to maneuver that kind of energy. Okay. So dolphin. Okay. So see, that's like the lovey-dovey energy. Okay. So here you are um, ready for your flow. Okay. Let's see where that's going. <laughs> I feel like, I, I'm like, hmm, this is suspiciously getting longer and longer. I wonder what, what Taurus uh, doesn't want to reveal anything, maybe. <laughs> okay, gratitude. Okay, appreciation along the way. Okay, oh, that came out in um, the... Uh, spark of happiness today okay so yeah gratitude and i feel like um you are doing this every day okay i think this is natural for uh taurus and what's wonderful is okay so perhaps you're uh feeling gratitude for your child or children or um for your elders in physical and non-physical is what i'm picking up here okay and I feel like this is you. Your hair is getting looking wild. So I feel, <laughs> I feel like you're ready. You're ready for some action there. <laughs> oh, and then here's the red fox. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm getting a uh, strategy and playfulness. Okay. So uh, I would translate that into flirting. Okay. I think flirting would um, kind of speed things up. Okay. And uh, see ability. See, that's what I'm saying in this card here. See ability. You have that ability. See, see ability. Okay. And um, here you are. Okay. Uh, sea turtle. Okay. Okay. So this is the other thing that is coming up for some reason. Okay. So. Um, uh, for some, sea turtles uh, was a delicacy. So maybe in the subconscious, there is a feeling of maybe um, getting eaten up in this, uh, like, uh, love, right? Like, um, like it would um, take over again, is what I'm saying. So, um Feel like this is you in trance state like picking up the little keys to move in the path that you want okay what are these things here that are flying in the air these are like the little sea fairies Okay, so I would suggest also going near bodies of water, okay? Um, maybe that would um, also um, give you some more clues, I'm feeling. Okay. Okay, so above all, what do you do want is peace to reign. Whatever it is, coming together with anybody, family, lover, you want peace above all. 
Okay, and um, so I feel like um, you want to go towards someone who um, has the same kind of ideals uh, when it comes to that department. Okay, um, because you are holding great wisdom and um, the last thing you want is to uh, someone who is not uh, mature in their energy and, um, and, and be treated with um, Okay, so you want to be treated with grace. So that's what you want uh, going forward. And I want to say that it's right here. It's right here, Taurus. All right, so let's keep going. Honeybee. Okay, reciprocity and pleasure and shark. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay, <laughs> look. Okay, that's what I was saying. Okay, you may not be aware, but this person, I feel like you are aware, but uh, this person is in your vicinity, okay? And... um. Okay, so, okay, for some of you who are engaged now, okay, this is your person, okay, and, um, and look, <laughs> Daisy's all in, in, uh, like, beautiful flower imagery in his mind for you, it's gorgeous, okay, so, um, and he is like the worker bee wanting to, there's bees uh, wanting to work on this relationship with you. Okay, so that's gorgeous. Okay, and congrats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, all right. And then, so for those who are single, this is uh, the potential that is right here. Okay, within reach. Okay. Oh, okay. So look. See how this looks real similar to this? So that's what I'm saying. It's like, I feel like you're looking at it. This may be your non-physical self, okay, in that peaceful state. Looking at your person, and then here it is in the physical reality. Okay. All right, so... Oh, that's interesting because Virgo's reading was like that, pulling it into the physical reality. Okay, and then here's pleasure. So I feel like you're going to be giving in to it with an open heart, okay, for married and single. Okay, all right. And then for single, here's the, the circling around. That person is trying to figure out ways to have an in is what I, I pick up here. All right, so then what? How, how can this person have a way in? Let's see. There's a cross watcher here. Okay, loyalty, showing loyalty in friendship. Honor the person if they want um, downtime and me time, okay? And, uh, and feel secure in those moments, okay? And this goes for the Taurus too, you know? If your person needs downtime and, and wants to hang out with the guys or whatever, um, it, just uh, figure out ways to be okay with that. Okay. Is what I would suggest. Okay. Because you don't want to get your uh, feathers ruffled every time, uh, you know, your partner does something. Okay. All right. So then here's Peacock. Okay. Releasing ego. This is for the cross watcher. Release ego that um, is... Um, that uh, would get in the way. Okay, you need a certain degree of uh, ego to kind of move forward with this relationship. Um, 
but to be prosperous in it, uh, there would be ha a certain degree of um, the equal give and take, right? Okay. Fruition. Okay. Being fruitful in your thoughts. This is still for the cross watcher, but it could be for Taurus too. Being fruitful in your thoughts. Okay. And uh, take spontaneous action. Okay. Like if you get an impulse, just do it. Oh, this is interesting. Look, see that thing? That kind of reminds me. I filmed the um, the SpaceX thing the other night, and it looked kind of like that. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and then Swan. Okay. Uh, so Swan. Okay, so yeah. Um, just feeling your way through this beautiful, gorgeous relationship. Okay, and trusting it, right? Okay. Seeing the beauty in it before you even take any kind of action. Ooh, and look, the little bubbles. Ooh, that might be fun. Um, like going to get those um, bubbles and blowing them or a bubble machine and uh, dancing in the bubble machine. That sounds fun. Okay, I might want to do that. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and uh, and then here's the attraction. Okay, so, and it's 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so then that would be infinity, too. Okay, so it might be a past life person, too. Okay, so um, anyway, I leave you that with that, Taurus. Um, it, it just be optimistic and um, forward moving, and I thank you for joining me.